All right, let's roll. All right. Welcome back. It's another week. Another week. Another, uh, hopefully another good week, man. We just came off of a horrible weekend, man. I mean, rioters, looters just came up in my city and just turned it upside down, man. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 but we bounce back, though. That's what we do up in the 216. You know, I'm representing both today, 216 and Houston. You know what I'm saying? You know, we just got, it, it's it's crazy. Yeah, I already talked about it, and I'm not going to talk about it no more. I probably might talk about it with my mans right here, but but other than talking about it, it's, it's, it's all over the map. It's messed up. It's, you know. All right, so today's podcast interview, my man, Boston Rays. Massachusetts. He loves he loves and rep his city everywhere he goes. He comes in and he drives for Western Express. Yeah, that Western Express. We about to bring <laughs> we we about to bring my man to the stage right quick. Welcome to the show, Gerard Servride. I, I hope I pronounce your name right now. I, I hope I pronounced your name, bro. Nice. No, thank you for bringing me to the front of the congregation. I highly appreciate it. Okay. Pleasure. Okay. You you got like you got so many names right here, man. Gerard, Sir Fried, LaSalle Smith. I LaSalle mean, what, Smith, Lily. 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 So the two, the two, the two. Sir Fried, LaSalle is my middle name. And then uh, Smith, Lily, that's, that's my last name. God damn it, man. You you, you got so many oh, names, man. What, what are you, a Jamaican? <laughs> nah, so <laughs> I had, um, the, the reason behind it was um, I wanted a fresh start because, mm-hmm. you know, how you put it, I was in and out of, you know, Boston jails and, you know, Boston prisons for a okay. little bit. Okay. But when I got out, I wanted, like, a fresh start. So I changed my name, except for my first name. My God, my, my mother gave me a name, so I didn't want to change that. Okay. But, um, yeah, so I wanted a fresh start on life. Yeah, that's what's I'm up, man. I'm thinking the best way to do it. Change my name. Don't stay out of trouble for a little bit. And, um, you know, yeah, that's, that's probably that's, probably what it is. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I mean, you know, you, you know, you, 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 you came up, you know, a little, little bit hard, not life. You know, uh, what, what, what was life like back in Boston, man? Uh, it could be. It was. It was a little bit difficult, you know. I had I've, I've had some decent jobs, and you know, lost some decent jobs, you know, messing with females. But you know, it, it, it's definitely difficult living in not 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 to be funny, but in a somewhat undercover, still racist city. Mm-hmm. But you know, it, it you gotta. I tell people, you know, if you want to do what you want, if you want game day and all that, you know, if you want to get out of it, there's really no way out of it. You know, like they say, well, there's only one way out, and that's in the box. And, you know, and I tell people all the time, there's a way out. You might not like it, but you got to change your zip code. <laughs> you say you got to change the zip code to get out, huh? You got to change your zip code. Yeah, you got to move out the state. Go, go, live, go live with film somewhere else. Sometimes, sometimes you 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 got to do that in order to get a get a fresh start. I mean, you know, I said I wasn't, yeah, I said it. I wasn't going to talk about it, but I'm since you know since he alluded to it, I got to bring it up. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's what my man. You know, that's what that's that's what it was for George Floyd, man. You know, he he was down yeah. in Houston. You know, he had a hard not life down there, and you know, he changed the zip code up to Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? Came up there. You know, got you know, changed his life around, sort of what you did. You know what I'm saying? You had to, yeah. you know, but you you went to the you you went to the far. You know what I'm saying? You changed the name, changed the zip code, changed everything, huh? Yeah, like, yeah, because it's funny because people were like, well, you know, what made you come a truck driver? I was telling you, know, listen, I did three years on and off back home in Boston. You know, in the two and a half years that I did straight out flat, um. I, my whole time, I watch, you know, ABC Nightly News or uh, World News with David Mayer or the news, news with uh, Lester Holt and um and whatever, Brian Williams. And so I was getting jealous. Like, yo, they they all over the country, like, man, well, 
I want to do that. I want to see what it really looked like. So you want so to, to, to see oh, she's like, yo. You want to travel the country. I'm huh? a truck driver. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah that's how to driver. do it. That's how to do it, man. You know, you become a truck driver and you can just, you you damn near everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah, if you're so over like, the road. So what? I tell people, like, you know, it, it, it's definitely tough out here. Um, is that, I'm not going to lie. It definitely is tough. It's definitely lonely. And I, I do get frustrated because there's times when, like, right now, I, I would rather be home because, you know, my grandmother was back home in Boston. And mm-hmm. I called her yesterday, Nanny, you good? She's like, yeah, I'm good. They ain't not suited up here yet. I'm like, Nanny, you know, all it takes is one phone call. I'll turn this whole truck around. She's like, I know, but, you know, I'll let you know. So what? So, so I, what, I do get worried about my Nana. So what you? So what, what, what were you doing before you got into trucking, man? I mean, you you, you said so, that you spent, you know, you spent a couple, you know, a little bit in prison. You know, we'll talk about that in a yeah. minute. But, you know, what what was you doing before, uh, before trucking, man? So... Fresh, fresh out of high school, mm-hmm. I um had my foot in the door, become a boss of firefighter. Okay. Messed that up, you know, started messing with females, started catching cases. And one female, she, I, I kind of want to say she, she definitely had me, by the, you know, she definitely had me. Mm-hmm. Even though everything she said in the police report wasn't exactly true, but that was enough for the district attorney to be like, yo, you know what, we're not going to offer him no deal. The only deal we're going to offer him is two and a half. Like, I had my foot in the door. When I said my foot in the door for the academy, I had already had my acceptance of the end for uh, the fire academy back home in Boston. Right. So. It, it, it was so, it what it is now. I mean, so. So with, so with that, uh, with that, was there anything else you was doing or or was anything else you was doing to try to do uh, before you got into trucking or or it was. It nah, was, that, that was my, was like, when I was a kid, like, people that really don't stop with kids, like, they, they would know, like, well, I had two dreams in my life. That was it. Two mm-hmm. dreams. Be a mm-hmm. Boston firefighter. Um, and I, I didn't want to be a firefighter nowhere else but my home my home city, which is Boston. Or okay. be a truck driver. All right, so it so, was... Why not try, you know, New York? You know, or try um, Chicago, but not, that's not home to me. I don't want to fight fighters. It's not my home. All right, so that was so that was either way. so that was either or either either be a firefighter or or yeah, truck driver or truck driver. All right, all yep. right. So all right, so let's talk about uh let's 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 talk about uh your little stint, man. Um, uh, so what happened? What got you there? So I was dating a Dominican girl. Mm-hmm. Um, she basically caught me cheating. Okay, uh, we got into an argument. You know, I gave her a hickey because you know that's. You, like I'm trying to, you know, wait, recover wait the relationship that I'm about to lose. Wait, but wait I guess she went to a family. Wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute, bro. You you gave you gave you gave you gave the chick that you was cheating with. You gave the chick oh, that no, you. Oh no 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 no. Oh okay, but well, let me get let me my let me... girl I was with at the time. Uh huh. Yeah, the girl I was with at the time. You um she she was Dominican. Right. So, so you she, get she caught me cheating. All right, so she caught. Wait, wait, wait. She caught. She caught you cheating, but you yeah, just said that you get. So who did you give a hickey to? The chick that you was cheating with, or the chick that nah, you're the with? The girl I was with. Okay. Yeah, the girl I was with. Okay, so yeah, you nah, gave. Nah, so nah. you gave her a hickey, and and yeah, because, and she you know, threw we, you in jail. Oh, hold on, hold on. The story gets real. Oh, okay, so, okay. Help, help a brother out it here. It wasn't. Like I just gave it. It wasn't like I just gave her no hickey and went home. That nah, didn't happen like that. Okay. But, um, okay. We was in bed, you know, doing our adult thing, you know. Right. I'm trying to, you know, salvage something. Right. So she left like the next morning. Okay. Um, I guess the family seen it and was like, "Yo, what happened to you and that?" Yada yada yada. Okay. I don't know the whole gist of that story, but when, from what I was told from one of her, uh, from one of her close cousins, was that her aunt and uncle made her go down to the police station and fill out a police report. Okay, wait, 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 G, G, hold up. Let first thing first. How old was this no. chick? We was what twenty? What was that? Two thousand sixteen. Hold on, I gotta do some math. Hold on, just give me a just give me a ballpark. I was like, what's that? Like, mm, what twenty four, twenty five? How old was the chick, bro? Like, she was the same age as me. We we met in college. Okay, so this is a grown woman, and yep. she let she let her her parents or her aunt and uncle influence her uh, to her aunt and 
uncle. Her aunt and Listen. uncle to influence her to do what? And I'm 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 thinking I'm I'm kind of thinking in, in my, I'm I'm kind of seeing where this story is pretty much going. Yeah, it's you know, it's a weird story because even my lawyer was all like, "Yo, I don't understand how this is even going this far in the courthouse or even the court system." Okay. But, um, oh, he blew out his drive. So get but, um, look, I'm so, I'm just gonna get to the brass tass. What she accused you of? Assault and battery. Oh, okay, okay. Now, see, now I'm yeah. thinking, I, I, I'm thinking rape. Oh no, it wasn't. It, no, 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 no. Let, let's get one thing clear. I tell people all the time. Okay. My name's Gerard, and the word rape is like water and oil. These two don't mix. Okay, all I right. got you. Yeah, I got you. Okay, mixed. okay. Yeah, nah, all right, nah, so nah, 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 nah. assault. I, so I, I wouldn't be a truck driver if I had the title rape on my record anyway. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. So assault and battery. Assault and battery. Yeah, they, they consider assault, then that's what they consider it. So that hickey they on her neck, they that, that hickey on her neck, they they attested that to a bruise. Yep, because um, a lot of people don't notice, but Massachusetts is definitely a female state. <laughs> you don't even have to physically. State. You can yeah, you if, if you push a female right, uh -huh. and if she doesn't like you or. She can literally call a police on you uh -huh. and have you brought up on charges for assault and battery. What? Which is considered a, 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 um, assault and battery uh, domestic 209A. But it wasn't, but it wasn't by the sound, by the sounds of the story that you're saying, it wasn't assault and battery. You guys, you, then, you yeah, guys was, was you then, guys was love making. You gave her a hickey. She got up, left. That's wait, it. Well, she well, she well, didn't like said, she didn't intest to Go ahead. You know, I, I, listen, I know, but I know when I came home from work, the game unit was at the house. Like, yo, you such and such. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I right, um, there's detectives down at the station. I want to talk to you. Okay. Like, okay. So I'm not thinking of nothing because you know I ain't been in trouble in a while, right? right? right. So I've been, I've been staying out of trouble because at this time I'm already on probation for my last case. So I've been staying out of trouble trying to get off probation. Okay. So I get down to the police station. They, okay. You know, it's two female detectives. And they was like, hey, you know, can you tell us about today, what happened yesterday, what happened today, yada, yada, yada. So I told them, and they was like, well, now, listen, see, we you, know you, what you are, you, 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 you know you already, you, you know you already in deep water, right? You you already know Oh, that, yeah, right? at this point, you, at I this mean, point, you know, you, you're talking to I two female detectives, right? Detectives. In a yep. room. Well, hold on, hold mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. well, hold mm -hmm. on, L. So when we get down there, we're talking about it, and they, they straight up comes like, yo, we know what the heck you. We mm -hmm. can tell because they seen her. They had mm -hmm. her. They yeah. had her come to the police station, um, and they seen the hickey. So right. like, you know, but because of the fact that she's claiming that you bit her, we have to go through. Wait. And it didn't help my fact. What's up? Wait, she she claiming that she claiming that you that you bit her. So. Where were we at? Where was we at? Uh, so yeah, for you, the you, all, yeah, two, we, we yeah. can clearly we can. Yeah, the tech was like, you know, saying um, we can clearly tell it's a hickey, but under the mass law, they had to go through with, oh, they had to do what they had to do. So, like like I said, if a female claims that you pushed her or any type of, you know, physical altercation was, you know, towards her, she can have you brought up on charges. And like I said, like I was saying, it didn't help my situation that I had prior assaults on my record. So okay. when I went to court... Yeah, it, it, yeah. So that's why I had got hit with that two and a half years because I still was on probation for three other cases and I had multiple assaults on my record. Oh man! So it and, it, and yeah. So, so it, it wasn't no. Then, it, you know, I mean, did the 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 lawyer that you well, the lawyer that did y'all go to court? Was it a full court proceeding? Her testifying and you testifying and no, I didn't or was even, this honestly oh, my. We, I wanted, I wanted to take it to the hoop, only because I knew I would win. But at the same time, when I, when I found out that the DA was offering me no deal and that they wanted, this is what they, they were like, you know, if you take it to trial, would you want to, we're gonna ask for 18 months committed, no, two and a half years, um, 18 months committed, the rest of it suspended, and they wanted me to class it, and they were gonna class it as a felony. Mm. And so when I, when I, when I had talk to my lawyer. I'm like, yo, listen, talk to the judge, see if I can get something better, because, you know, I told him, listen, 
Granted, I did mess up my life in the past, but I'm not coming home to no felony. Like, that's not going to happen. Okay. So the judge is like, yo, listen, if you take two and a half straight out, no parole, so you can collect all the good time you want. But he's like, no, but no parole. I will leave it as a misdemeanor. So this way I have a chance to come home, get everything, you know, do all my probation, get everything squared away. And then four, like, things like, yeah, four or five years later, I can come back to court and have my record sealed. Okay, so where so where where are you at on where are you at on all that right now? You did did you did you get well? Obviously you're out, but did you uh, yeah. did you get it clear? Did you I'm, get I'm it clear? Sure. I I got everything. I went home. Let me see. I went home earlier last year, around summertime last year. Had all my records sealed. Actually, no, it was this year. It was early this year, around okay. March, March or April. I went home and had my everything sealed. All right, so you got everything sealed in the midst of all that. That's where you got the name change? Yep. Okay. No, I did the name change right when I was coming home from being locked up. Oh, okay, okay. So you, you wanted you, like you I said, seriously, I wanted to come home you to a, a fresh start. start. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I really, because like, my thing is, I, I, now, it wasn't that it was something that bad, but to me, doing two and a half, you know, looking for a company to drive for, and I got tired. Like, oh, well, can you explain what happened? Like, I, I to me, it was, it was just too much to explain. I didn't feel like explaining nothing no more. Okay, so I you just, just tired, dropped. Like, so you just when dropped. I for one. So you just dropped the name, came up with a new one, and then fr- uh, put in an application and just go from there, pretty much. Yep, because uh, when I first came home, I applied for Warner. Actually, believe it or not. Well, where did you? You gonna laugh at this? When where, I first where, got my CDL, where, I, that's what I'm about to say. Where Where did you get your where, where Where did you get your CDLs from? You You went to school or you? you oh, went back to, home. In, no, I went. No, I went to school. I paid five thousand for it my, myself mm-hmm. and went to school. What school you went um, to? Parker Professional School. Oh, I'm driving school and now I'm Avon Math. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, three. Yeah. What, what was it? Uh, what was it? A three week course. For to uh, a month course, six oh six weeks course. So six they pretty, weeks. so they yep. pretty much uh, did. Did they taught you more than what they, than what they were supposed to teach you, or they just taught you the basics, uh, just to pass for your? No, they CDL. they taught me. They taught they taught specifically me more than what I needed to know, only because of the fact that I was the only one in my class that was coming out cross country. Okay. But they spent more time with me, showing me, you know. What I need to do, we're going down a steep hill. What I do need to do going up, you know, going up a steep hill. When it comes to signing your tandems, you know, mm-hmm. trying to, um, try to, if you don't have the money for a cash scale, because some companies, as you know, will have you pay for the scale ticket and reimburse you on payroll. Okay, okay. Now, did so the school so, like, pretty much one of them companies. So the school pretty much taught you any. I mean, taught you everything. Who was the company, or was there any companies that came to the school? That 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 tried to recruit you, and who did you decide to go with? The only company that that I can legit say like a major company that came to the school was Warner. Okay. And at the time, I really wanted to work for Warner because like I've always like liked their blue trucks. Mm-hmm. So when I put in my application and I told them about my record, and they was all like, "Oh, well, I guess they felt like it was classed as a felony." They are like, oh, you, you can't work for one because you have a felony. I'm like, no, I don't. They was like, yo, yeah, yes, you do. They, so I guess when they looked at the, what do you call it, their, their, um, their charges in their home state compared to charges in my home state, mm-hmm. I guess, because uh, I know in New York, a felon or an assault can be deemed as, as a, like almost a felony. Okay. But in Massachusetts, it's a, it depends on how much beating up on the person that you did before it is classed as a felony. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, like, I know... One dude, one of my boys, he lives in Brooklyn. He was like, "Yo, you can punch somebody dead in the mouth and get hit with a felony." Yeah, you could I'm probably like, get. Yeah, you could. Like, Yo, yeah, you could get hit with a felony charge. Just you know, if 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 that other person decided to pursue it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm like, "Yo, you punch so somebody they, in the mouth back home in Boston. It's a simple assault." <laughs> so, so Warner, Warner's out. All right, so. Who did you? Who yep. did you? Who and, after you graduated? Who who did you decide to go with? I wanted to go with Swift. That the night was Swift. Okay. Of, of all companies, Swift. What happened? What happened with Swift? Why they didn't take you? Because of my background. 
Oh, they they went into the background too. Some people don't know what the background is because of my quarter. Yeah, they ran the quarter. And oh. then everything popped up, and they was like, "Nah, he can't pass security clearance." Okay, okay. I'm like, security clearance for what? They ain't like y'all going on the FBI building or something like that. All right, Nets. Who 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 was Nets? Who who did you finally who did you finally land with? Who who gave you the opportunity? Um, I was hauling cars for three months back home. Okay. They did. So for, um, yeah, I was hauling cars for diversified automotive back home. Um, I did it for three months with them. And then I jumped on with J.B. Hunt for about two months. Um, and I, I had to eventually leave J.B. Hunt because um, my mom had passed away. And it it took a toll on me, like, a, a lot worse than I thought it would. Sorry to hear that, bro. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. My condolences because, um, to you. Yeah, and I appreciate it. So, like, and a lot of people are like, you know, why would you leave J.B. Hunt? I'm like, yo, it wasn't that I was forced out of J.B. Hunt or I was fired. It was because of the fact that. My mom had left Boston on Christmas to go down to Virginia. Mm-hmm. Two days later, she breaks down in New Jersey. So I ended up getting a load. Had no clue that my mom was literally 10 minutes away from the load. Okay. Like, and this is where the story starts to get weird. So um, I, she comes to me. You know, we, me and my sister get her a tow truck. She's like, yo, I'm going. I still want to go to Virginia. Like, one way or another, I'm going to Virginia. So I want to get in the truck. Mm-hmm. So I bring her all the way to Virginia. Um... And I get, I get her there. Granted, you know, we did miss the funeral because JB only goes 65 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. Um, two days later, I'm up in Columbus, Ohio, up near you, actually. And my sister calls me, and, it, and she's like, yo, mommy's in the hospital. So I'm like, what are you talking about? So I call the hospital down in um, in Virginia, and they're all like, yeah, um, yada, yada, yada. Your mom was med flighted to Richmond. So I'm like, med flighted? What do you mean med flight? Like, why would you met fight my mom to Richmond? Like, that's like a whole hour and a half away. So when I called Richmond, they was like, yeah, your mom is in route here. How soon can you get here? Okay, okay. All right, so so you, you with, with the passing of your mother and that, and that put too, you know, that put too much of a toll on you, uh, you decide to leave JB Hunt. Where did you Where did you go from there? Um, from JB, I just started, I did local work back home for about six months, six nine months, and then um, I felt like mentally I was ready to come back on the road. And I'm like, you know, I applied Western. Um, actually, no, I applied a few places. Still, my quarry was still open, so I did, I didn't have it sealed up yet. Um, I still had to wait like another year, and um, I applied at Weston and um, started Weston like the very what three days later, mm-hmm. and been with Weston ever since. All right, so so how how long all together that you've been with Western? I mean, how long? Since last year, October, October thirty first, October thirty first of last year. Oh, okay, so October thirty first of this year be a year, pretty much. Yep. All right, man. So basically, uh, basically, you called me up and you you wanted to get in uh, to let me know what happened uh, with this with this video that you sent me, man. This video right here of uh, <laughs> of a Western Express truck being driven by some uh, hooligans, man, doing the uh, yeah doing so- the protest. Hey, yeah. Is that a female in there, bro? Was that a female? Yeah, that is definitely. But so, like, uh, I reached out was a to a few people up and they're, they're trying to figure out if that female is the driver of the truck or did somebody literally steal a Western Express truck? <laughs> oh, so where was when I see where that, was I the, the, the what? What can you tell me about that, man? What? You don't have to tell the driver's name or nothing like that, but what 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 oh, can you? T- I don't even know the driver, but I I know this is what I can tell you. Um, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming only because of the fact that when I want to say like a week or two ago, 
Western Express did shut down the Atlanta terminal because we do have a terminal in Atlanta. So where's where's so that video? So so where's that video from, man? That's that's what I'm saying. Where's that, I'm, 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 that video's from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, so that's from Atlanta. Okay, so yes, that's so, definitely in Atlanta. So some so this look like kids up in here, man. This, this look like kids. Uh, this is like kids hey, up here yeah. that, that stole this truck, man. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So, yeah, but yeah that's know, a that female up in that piece, it, it man. Be, that's a, it, it could be Atlanta, and um, and I'm not sure because I know somebody said that the driver lives in Philly, so I'm like, I don't know if it's Atlanta, and let me correct myself, like I don't know if it's from Atlanta or if it's up in Philly. Okay, so this, so that's a female driving that truck, bro. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's 70 miles. Oh, shit. 70 miles. Hold on right quick. Yep. Hold on. Yeah, I might have to might have to cut this uh might have to cut this short, man, because you know my my uh fleet manager is over here hitting me up and let me know how far this place is and it's eleven o'clock. So what company what, what company you driving with now? Because I know he was with a Hirschback. I think he was a Hirschback. Nah, nah, I I don't I don't I yeah no 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 shots fired man, but I, I don't like telling where I work at. Not nah, even oh, to okay. even, no, no, even no, to my no, even just, to my nah, closest I, I people. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> even to my closest people, man. I I tell them. Nah, it's cool. No, it's cool. I, I um. Get it. Um, I, I wasn't sure if you was driving for Hirschback or if you did a podcast. No, I did. I did a podcast. Like um, I, I did a, a company first. I did a, Yeah, I did a. I did a podcast. Uh, with Hirschback. I did it with the young lady, man. All right, so you know the speed. Oh, okay. You know, sorry to sorry to speed this up, but so Atlanta Terminal. The the the, the that was like a female hooligan driving the truck. How was she able to get that truck? Was you able able to find out? How was they able to steal the truck? That that that's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, um, I did email a few people that I, that I have trust within at my company here at Weston, mm -hmm. and I have reached out to a few drivers, and they they trying to figure that out they, themselves. So I'm like, oh, y'all gotta figure this out. Like, how how is that? If somebody stole that truck, how did they get the keys to that truck in the first place? Right. Or did they? Or did right. the driver? Right. Or did the driver probably just left the keys up in that bad boy? Or from what somebody had posted up on um, Facebook, they, you know, that they were like, you know, that's what happens when you leave your truck running with the keys in it and you don't lock your doors. Or so, or leave your or leave your truck up in Atlanta, period, with your doors unlocked yeah. with the keys left in it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So there so the driver of that truck is is pretty much about the Loses, loses yeah, job much. because pretty of that, much. man. That's he or she's going to lose it. They're definitely going to lose their job. Sad situation, man. You know, these protesters out here, man, they they, 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 they ain't doing it for, for, for what the cause is, man. They just doing this bullshit just to, just, just to, just to cause trouble. That's, that's all this is, man. Somebody, somebody stole this man's or female or woman's truck. And now they in trouble for it. Now they about to lose their livelihood because somebody, you know, some hooligans got in the truck and 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 stole it. And unfortunately, it was caught on social media. Just imagine if all these yep. people, just imagine if all these people didn't have cameras, man. A lot of this shit people would be getting away with, man. What show, what show oh, before we be, before before I let you go, man. And I said I wasn't going to talk about it, which I am not, but I since I got this driver on the line, man, there's been a lot of ruckus going on in different cities, man. What's your thoughts on the driver, on the FedEx driver that dragged that uh that one kid, man? Yo, honestly, and 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 I'm and I'm glad you asked because I, I was about to bring it up. I was definitely going to bring it up. Um, good for him. 
like real talk, good for him because a lot of people, a lot of young truckers don't know or remember the um Reginald Denny, the dude. He was a truck driver that mm-hmm. got his um his head beaten mm-hmm. during the Rodney King riot. Mm-hmm. So my grandfather was a trucker, and so like at the same time, like you know, I'm not, I'm not. That's not, I'm not letting that happen to me. I'm not. Exactly. And from what I was told, um, the driver of the FedEx truck, the the protest that was on his passenger side step. Mm-hmm. He held a gun to the door. That's what made him take off. Okay, yeah, that, I yeah. That bad. When I seen it in the video, when he got up on there, he was banging on the door, talking about back up, back up. No, nah, man, we're yeah. not. Uh, no, nah, we're not backing up. We're not getting out. You know, hostile nah, situation. Hostile situation. Y'all stealing shit off the truck. Y'all broke the seal. Y'all stealing shit off the truck. And y'all still was stealing shit off the truck when the dude was stuck up under the truck. Where were y'all? Yeah, where where like, were y'all? Where were y'all at? Try to pull the, try to pull the truck. I mean, try try to pull the dude or whoever it was up under the truck from up under the truck. Or better yet, let me let me let me hit you with this one, bro. Let me hit you with this one. Where was everybody at when that neck? I mean, when that knee was in the neck of George Floyd. Did it, everybody right bum now, everybody you know, bum rushed at that truck, right? Everybody, everybody the had nothing to do with it. We had right, nothing to do with that. What's going on? Right. Everybody bum rushed at that truck, right? Everybody bum rushed at that truck. Try to get the truck driver to back up or stop or whatever. But where was everybody at when the officer had the neck, the knee to the neck? They could have. You know, er, everybody, everybody, look, I know every, look, what I'm saying, I know you guys might not like, y'all probably got different opinions, and I know I had a whole slew of people that disagree with me, but I talked to a, I, I talked to a local Cleveland cop, and I asked him the same question, what if the people would have, would have, would have, would have like, kind of like, bum rushed the one cop, wouldn't Derek Chevis would have got up and help out that cop? He said, yeah, they would have went to jail. They would have got arrested for uh, interfering with police matters, police business. But George Floyd would be alive today. I said, of course. I, I, I said, are you sure? He said, yeah, all, all they had to do was just get a lawyer. Any lawyer that would have seen that video. Would have beat that with a baseball bat. They, they would have beat, beat that they, case. They would have beat bat. that case. They would have beat that case. They would have, and as a matter of fact, the lawyer would have made the person or the people heroes for saving that man's life. Now, let's yeah. switch back over and, to and the. Like my thing is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And my, and my thing is like, shit, like, I, I tell people like, yo, you can agree with me or disagree with me. But like the same dude that recorded the murder of uh, George Floyd, name? the dude down south, the dude, the jog, no, 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 not George Floyd, uh, 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 um, uh, the dude that went jogging. Mm-hmm. They arrested him and brought him up on charges for recording it. Mm. Because okay. And I can see, I can see why because he didn't do anything to stop it. Okay. Okay. Now, if, now if, a like, lot of people if, if shame uh, one old girl for recording that video and not doing. She stood there, and recorded the whole shit. Mm-hmm. That's what had me more mad than anything. Like, yo, you're a black female. Brandon, yes, he's a black male. Yeah, do something about it. Mm. I, I was. I, 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 record it. I wasn't up. About it. I wasn't upset. I, I wasn't upset with the chick recording it. I think I was more irritated with the with the with the bro dude. The I, I think I was more irritated with him. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I think I was more irritated with him. But you know, it is what it is, man. You know, people. People, you know, people have different stances, and I, I understand that. But as far as the truck driver, I, you know, I agree with I agree with my man G here. I'm moving. I'm gone. I'm not. I'm. I'm not stopping. I'm. I'm going to a safe haven. Then I'm going to get out of my truck and assess what you guys did to my shit. And then I will look up under there and say, "Oh, god damn it, man." Yeah, like for real, I, like I tell people, like, yo, listen, you jump in front of this truck, go ahead. My truck does 70, I'm not slowing down for you. 
Exactly. And no, I, I, I don't think I dated to jump on the highway. I don't I don't think truck drivers is doing that anymore. You know, you had that you had that situation over there in uh in what was that? Uh I know it was on I thirty five with the tanker, you know, blowing through. Yep. You know, blowing through and everybody rushed over there. It seems like it seems like they I mean they they disrupting everything. They on a the highway. What is that? What is that going to accomplish? Y'all on a major highway stopping a major, I mean, stopping a major highway, bro. What's that going to accomplish? So dude, maybe, you know, he's, of course he's in trouble because he blew straight through there. But, um, yeah, but, uh, I, I don't have slowed down I, and was trying to crawl through. Right. I, I mean, I, I, you know, as far as a truck driver, because I am one, I'm with the truck drivers on this. We're not stopping. That UPS truck, you seen that video? They on the back of that truck. Not yet. They on the back of that truck, looting that truck, man. And I heard that they, I heard they ransacked a couple Amazon trailers too. Right, right. What that got to do with George Floyd? What, what, what all that got to do with George Floyd, man? So, but yeah, man, yeah, man. I, I mean, it's it's unfortunate, you know. It's it's unfortunate, you know, what happened to him. You know, may he rest in peace, you know. But I, I think I think they're going at it all wrong. I, like I said before, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just I'm talking about it now because I'm I'm speaking on it with my man's. We're we're both truck drivers here. We both gotta stay safe. You know, just like when I talked to the cop yesterday, he said the only thing that's on cops' mind when they do a traffic stop or when they interact with people is that they want to go home. That's it. They want to go home to their family. And this is the same thing what us truck drivers want to do when we're out on the highway. We want to go home. You know, we don't want to get in the accident. We don't want to get cut off. We want to get to point A, point B, and then back home. For those that go home every day. I go home every weekend. So, so G-Man, what, what, I, is, what advice... Out. You know, throughout this chaos, this pandemic, this cult, this CV uh, nineteen, and this, this, uh, you know, the murder of George Floyd. What, what do you, what, what advice do you have for 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 us truck drivers out here, man? Advice. I mean, it's it's more like stay safe, uh, stay humble. You know, just just try to take it easy. I mean, like I tell everybody, you know, if you see a crowd. You know, don't necessarily blow to them, but you know, bring bring your truck down to a crawl. Mm -hmm. Do you drop it down to twenty? Throw it on your four ways. See if they let you through. They let you through. As soon as you see that one person, you know, trying to you know get ready to throw a brick at your truck, or you see somebody, you know, about to climb on the back end of your truck, take off. Time to go. Like that. That's for real. Take off. Like, cause me, I'm not gonna go blow through a crowd like old Tanker Boy did. But mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna throw my truck down. I'm gonna put on my four ways. But as soon as I see somebody crawling up on my truck or climbing up on my hood, I'm taking off. That's and I hope you got a strong grip because if we're on the highway or we're going to be doing 70 out on the hood, you're going to be the medallion. <laughs> you say we're going to be – you say you're going to be the medallion. <laughs> you're going to be the medallion. I'm not, I'm not you say you're going to be the medallion. <laughs> you, you say that boy going to be the medallion if he's up – if, if we're doing 70. Yo, man, here's yeah, right, here's my right. advice. Here's my advice for 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 truckers out there, man. Just listen and pay attention right quick because we're about to get on up out of here. Uh, put a lock, have a lock on the back of your trailer. Um, have at a lock all on, time. at all times. Now it's it's not like you know, you know, it's you you don't know what's gonna happen. Put a lock on the back of your trailer. Make sure that your doors is locked. Both doors, your passenger and your your driver's door. I understand some of you, you know, they y'all leave your passenger door open just in case y'all lock, you know, lock yourself out from the driver's side door. But during these crazy times, man, you got to make sure that both of your doors is locked. Your safety is imperative out here. You see somebody that's about to do wrong, and and I I, I don't fault you for putting for gas in it. I don't fault you. I don't fault you for that. You know, you want to go home just like that cop want to go home. You want to go home just like they want to. They, they should be at home. They should be at home. They they just threw social distancing out the fucking window with this shit. We're supposed to be standing six feet apart. 
after all this is said and done, it's going to be some more Corona uh, uh, cases out here. I kid you not. Somebody going to come back and like, I got Corona now. Where were you, man? I was in that riot, you know. Yeah, exactly. So that's my advice. Uh, drivers, y'all stay safe. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay safe out there, man. It's all about it's all about us uh, doing the damn thing. Sometimes, you know, I agree. The 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 the, the, the whatever's in that trailer is not always important. But when you got looters and 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 vandalizers and motherfuckers that's doing wrong, you know, just hopping up on that trailer and throwing that, you know, you know, still stealing off the trailer, it's time to go. It's time to go. All right, my man G, thanks for stopping on the show, man. I do appreciate it. All right, man, appreciate it. All right, all right. If you guys want to come on. And holler at your boy just like my man G did, and I'm calling him G because I'm I'll, I'll beat his name up. But uh, just like he did, yo, hit me up in the uh, Gmail lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up in the text two one six six zero zero two zero nine zero. Hit me up in the Instagram like my man G did. You know he got me in the Instagram. That's uh, lockout men, and hit me up in the DM. Uh, G man, I appreciate it. I'll be looking out for them hats, man. I I I appreciate the love, bro. Yeah, like I said, as soon as I get back home, I'll mail them out to you. All right, all right, and uh, and you know, to show that support, man. Uh, as soon as I get it, you know, I, of course I'm gonna wear it on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? And when I do, I'll yeah. shout you out and say, hey, this is this is for my man's up in Boston. You know what I'm saying? Did you hear me? All right, you take it easy out there. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, well, Just on that note, cars, that's all. on that note, everybody, if you like content like this, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. That all button is most important because you get all the notifications, whether I go live or whether I drop a video. I appreciate the support. I appreciate my new subscribers that's coming on. Thank you very much. Yo, if y'all want me to talk about anything, hit me up in the Gmail. Send it all over in the Gmail, and I'll talk about it. I'm gone. Everybody, y'all have a nice day, and me and G is out of here.